Hey guys, and welcome back to the Qualcraft Vanilla Server. It has been a while indeed. Um, what we are doing on here today is getting ready. Ooh, that's not what I wanted, but that's fine. Okay. What we're doing on here today is getting ready for some... Need... Just a standard iron pick would be nice. Well, we're getting ready for some building. Now, tomorrow, or today, the day you're watching this, people are going to be doing some work on spawn. I will not be able to join them, but uh, you should be able to go watch their points of views of what's up. You know what, I just realized this isn't going to work. So, what I'm doing is getting together some automated smelting for... <clears throat> How am I going to do this? Automated smelting for some nice stone bricks. I'm going to break that really quickly. And let's try this. Do that. 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 This. That. There we go, and now I just need one more chest. Actually, I'm probably going to need two more. So, if you recall from that, gosh dang it, it's been a little while since we've been on here, but as you recall, I used up most of my iron making hoppers for my automated farm, and we need to get that thing clothed, so that's part of the reason I didn't think I'd be able to open that. There we go. So I should actually be able to take out most of these blocks the way this roof is laid out. Yeah, I can take out all the blocks. Okay. This helps immensely. Yay for half slabs. Okay, so we need to build a nice cover for that super duper automatic farm we built. So that is what our task is in here today to get some automation going. So we'll just grab a whole bunch of coal and throw that in here. That's going to start draining into here. And then we want to grab all the cobble in the world. And start smelting this. Okay, there we go. And if I take a look, we should, yep, okay, we're getting crafted stone down there. So we have our little automated smooth stone farm set up. Just going to come in quite handy. There we go, replaced that. And we'll just go ahead and throw the rest of this stuff in here for now. And my eight measly pieces of iron back in my chest. Oh my goodness. It's sad when I have so much more diamonds. I have almost no use for diamonds, and yet I'm just burning through iron like crazy. <clears throat> and I can set, you know, I can actually put that guy right back where he was, and it won't even make a difference. Yep. Okay, still draining items out. That is excellent. Perfection. Alright, I went ahead and made an iron shovel, and actually, wait, is it sunrise or sunset? Uh, that is sunset, <coughs> so we need to take a quick little nap here, since we're lucky enough to have no one else on right now. And we need to start gathering some sand, because I'm also going to want to make a whole ton of sand here in a short while for building projects as well because I do enjoy stone and glass together. I think they go together very nicely. Now, had I had the levels, I would probably just, you know, get some super shovel and go at this, but we're still technically in the very early stages on the vanilla server. Unlike the Feed the Beast server, where we are light years up ahead. But I wanted to take this moment for digging up sand to ask you guys. Now, uh, 
I'm considering a big project to undertake in the near future. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but I tend to be a project-oriented person. For instance, my Feed the Beast project right now is getting my new um, spawn base set up, which is proving to be quite interesting as uh, I am kind of restarting my spawn base and then I'll be moving back to working on my island base. But I had a couple different ideas for what to work on on the vanilla server. Now, I do eventually I pretty much figure I'm going to do all this stuff but for the time being do you guys think I should get started on an iron farm which could be quite interesting or do you guys think I should get started on a mob grinder in general now either one of those could be pretty good because there's a lot of good things you can get out of a mob grinder especially now that it takes so much bone meal to grow things having a ton of skeletons could be super handy uh, as well as gunpowder is always a useful resource and we could do some really cool blast mining or do you think I should do an iron farm and I'm kind of leaning towards the iron farm you know with the villagers and the iron golems because of the fact I would like to create a lot of different things with hoppers and sadly as we discovered in the last episode hoppers will burn through your iron like nothing just just like sand burns through an iron shovel hoppers are going to burn through all of the iron ever so I'm not exactly sure which one you guys are more interested in I f I, they would both be really big projects to undertake. I just feel like the iron farm has more practical uses, if you know what I'm saying. Also, I'm sorry if my voice sounds really stuffy. Sadly, I'm a little under the weather still. So, I'm not, <laughs> not exactly at the top of my game. Which, if I'm also a little scattered-brained, can blame it on the illness. So, you know what? Go tell illnesses to stop attacking people, because it's not nice to pick on people who are weaker than you. So yeah, leave a comment down below on which project you guys would be interested in undertaking. Also, for some of you guys who've been subscribed to me for a while, you'll be excited to hear the Tinkerbox will be starting back up very shortly. Now that 1.5 is officially out, like I said, I'm going to be going back and kind of redoing a lot of different farms and such with the concepts that are now in 1.5 such as comparators and inventory checking and such especially also that we know the fact that bud switches aren't terribly slaughtered like everyone assumed they were going to be so there's a lot of things we can now go back and with confidence do I already have had a few ideas stirring around in my head, so I think there's a lot of good stuff coming up for us in the near future in the Tinkerbox. And again, um, we'll be doing a new mod plane review shortly, and I'm thinking, not mod plane review, uh, block by block. And the next block by block will be on Buildcraft, so watch out for those in the very near future. And let's see here, what else do I have? Oh, wait, no. Yes. Uh, fan server information. Now I know a lot of you have been really excited for the fan server, and we're right there. Everything on our end is pretty much done. And basically what that means is we just kind of have to wait for all of the bucket stuff to get updated. A few of the plugins and stuff that are kind of centric to the server are currently not functioning with the 1.5 dev build of Bucket. So we are going to have to sit back and wait probably just a week. They are pretty active plugins. So I don't think the wait is that much longer. But you guys should be expecting in a week or two for us to be having our big happy launch day. And we'll just gather everyone together 
and get as many of the Koalacraft people on the fan server that night as we can and we'll have a big launch party and we'll see you all there and we'll record an episode on it so you know maybe some of you will get to have a chance to be in a recording with us uh, say hi in the server chat and uh, see yourselves on camera so that is probably going to be well I, I actually I know it's going to be pretty neat I'm really excited to get that off the ground it's going to be really fun to have an a place where we can get together and all just kind of hang out. Now I'm starting to think I would like to get an automatic glass processor set up but I also know that I don't think I have enough iron to build another one of those right now so I may just have to switch the cobble one back and forth because I am poor in the Minecraft world Seriously, hoppers take so much freaking iron. I liked it better when it was a cobble recipe, but uh, you know, I understand. They have to balance things. At least there isn't Greg Tech added to vanilla. My life would be ruined. Alright guys, I know this was a shorter episode, but I'm feeling under the weather and I kind of need to go get some rest. So thank you guys for watching, and now that 1.5 is all up to date and the fan server stuff is winding down to a close you can expect to get back to a regular schedule of all the series you love instead of just kind of sporadically like one thing and then another and then some server stuff so expect the normal schedule to start reappearing again and don't forget to leave a comment down below saying whether or not you think I should work on getting some villagers here to get an iron farm going or whether you think I should get a mo giant mob spawner thing going so let me know what you guys think and I will see you all tomorrow in tomorrow's episode uh, thank you all for your support and I'll see you next time toodles